first up. Shalkin looking weary, and the forehand, which has reaped such havoc on Curia, has lost its snap. Curia, two points in the match. points for a place in the second round. A tenacious, gargantuan performance from Jim Currier. He's finally there from two sets to one down. Jim Courier advances somehow to the second round. And coming up after the break, Pistol Pete, the world number one. We're on court one now, there's a familiar face, Pete Sampras, the world number one, the champion here in 1994, and his first outing competitively in 1997. Played an exhibition tournament in uh, Kuyong, the other side of the city. And what looked like an easy match for him against Dinu Pascario of Romania, ranked 169. Guy's been on the tour seven years, brimful of talent, but somehow has not been able to make it count. Dennis Overber, the umpire for the match. We pick it up in the fourth game. Sabras leading 2-1 already with a break. Got a break in the opening game. In fact, Sampras went on to uh, break there to lead 3-1, then 4-2, pick it up in the seventh game. Sampras still in uh, commanding form. At this stage, he was playing sublime tennis. The control that he showed at this stage was breathtaking for someone who'd not played a competitive match for almost two months. Just a fabulous little touch of volley there. And there was more to come. The end of the first set was just a joy to watch. Whatever he tried, changing pace, changing angle, Sampras had the answer. He broke again to lead five games to two. Here he is with three set points. It was an awesome performance then. First game, first set to Sampras, six games to two into the third game of the second set. 
and more of the same. See the fair amount of disguise on the drop shot from Biscario. Sapper is so quick to react, quick on his feet, and then somehow getting enough time to execute as well as that. No more breaks, though. Biscario held his head up for Sapras to serve out for the second set at 5-4. Off the high pedestal of form that he had in the first set, but still plenty good enough. Second set, six games to four, into the third set. And here, Sampras was to steal a march on him early on. Broke in the first game, broke in the third. Here he is at three, love. <laughs> Exhibition stuff. Impish little character is uh, this guy, not so little in fact, six foot one, same as Sampras, but uh, 30, he certainly has a cheeky little character, but Sampras equal to everything. 5-2 now, and Sampras finishing it off. 6-2, First set was just out of this world, second and third, pretty good. Sampras looking serene and through without any trouble at all. Ladies and gentlemen, just a reminder about our matches tonight here on Centre Court, starting at 7 o'clock for number two. On court one, Goran Ivanisevic, the world number three, up against Ben Elwood of Australia, ranked 173. And it was, as you'd expect, Out. Ivanisevic, just a tower of strength, some massive serving. Yeah. Whatever Elwood tried, and he tried everything he could, the 20-year-old from Canberra. There was just a... no holding him back. This was pretty good all the way through from Ivanisvich in the blistering heat. He kept concentrating, and able to relax behind his serve. And this is how he finished it. Straight sets, and uh, a formality really. Good experience for Elwood. But Ivanisvich quarter finalist here in 89 and 94, advancing again. So to the opening match on centre court between the man from Chile, Marcelo Urios. The number nine seed, number 11 in the world against Peter Corder. His ranking has dropped a bit because he won Doha last year and he had quarter finals this year, ranked 34. And we held really high hopes of this match. It was a little disappointing to tell the truth. Two players absolutely brimful of talent. First set to Rios, 7-6. This is the sixth game of the second set. And Rios stamping all over him. Whenever Corder put a couple of rallies together, Rios was able to counter. And to be honest, he never looked in real trouble. This is Rios closing out the second set. Five three to two set points. And it reached nine semi finals last year. First service. Not to model of consistency, but there were other times, and those who know tennis well know all about those. Five. Again, yeah, second, second set. So that was the second yes. set. First set tie break, second set six games to three.
In the third set, it went with Rios serve for the first six games, but then Rios broke quarter in the seventh game to lead 4-3. Held his serve to go 5-3. Here's quarter serving to stay in the match. Two brilliant hitters of a tennis ball, but that really was fabulous from Rios. Corda did nothing wrong. Corda now at 30-40. And match point for the man from Chile. Straight sets, Corda will be very disappointed. Play well in Doha, but nowhere near good enough here against Rios. Coming next, Albert Costa from Spain. Patrick Rafter, the home hope for Australia. And Jennifer Capriati on the comeback trail. Serving for the set, 15 all. Grafter working well. He is a grafter. Sometimes those seems to react rather late on return. But he gives it everything he's got. Break point here. And that meant that he was back on terms at five games each. But immediately he was in trouble again. 15-40, Costa this time with break points. In game Costa. And after all the hard work, that must have been a choker for Rafter. 6-5 then. Costa again serving for the set. Deuce. And Rafter must wonder what he could have done. Costa was set point. No trouble at all, second time around. First set to the Spaniards, seven games to five. Into the second set. Costa racing out to a 5-1 lead. After serving at 40-30. Just fabulous. Looked to shape to go down the line, no wonder Rafter. He's in agony, smiling, but it must have hurt. Costa won the second set 6-2, although Rafter won that particular game into the third set. Five games each. And that gave Costa the break to go 6-5. And here with his third match point. A shocking leave. He'd done everything he possibly could thereafter, and the crowd had given him all the encouragement, but it wasn't to be. And that is a tremendous win for Albert Costa to beat Rafter here in Australia in straight sets. She then held her serve without any problem. And we moved into the fourth game. And again, a break point for the American. <laughs> 